Brad Mondo finally noticed me. So this is me reacting to Brad reacting to me. Up next, we have a video by Camille. So this is just Camille. We're on a first name basis. Okay, Brad. This is what we're starting with. I had red hair that grew out and faded a bit and just bleached my roots in literally one round with the lowest developer I've ever used. But this is the perfect base for a bright pink. And you can see that from the roots to the red is a bit of okay, an ombre already it. from me bleaching the roots. So that's going to be helpful. But either way, you can use this Doesn't method like to it? create an ombre on any base that's light enough. Yeah. I can't tell. <laughs> I get to see a curly hair video today. Yes, she has a magnificent curls. For bleaching her hair, her curls have really withstood the test of the bleach. Thank I'm you. So surprised I worked really her curls hard are for so, that. So beautiful after doing so much lightning. I'm sectioning my hair in half and then the other half in half, so it's in workable sizes. And it doesn't matter which section you start with since it's a color depositing semi permanent dye, so you don't have to stress about time. You don't have to stress about time. You can leave this product on for literally days. Wouldn't recommend it. But it's not going to break your hair. It's going to only make it feel better, look better, and be actually better internally. So that's a great, that's a great plus. To make the ombre seamless, I'm mixing the My pink so and short. the red together for a color that's halfway in between. I always start with the light color and add small amounts of the darker color at a time because making a color look halfway doesn't mean putting equal parts of each color. Ooh, these are gonna be so fire on her head, literally fire, because her hair looks like a fire. <clears throat> I don't need to explain that one. Once you have your halfway color, I recommend doing a strand test to double check that the color will show up the way that you want it to. The pink is a bit brighter than it looks inside the container and definitely warmer than the label, which looks more magenta slash purpler. So a big thing with the labeling guys, with the labels on our, our products, the label color is created based off of what the end result looks like on a level 10 hair swatch. I guess I had level nine. I tried. What it looks like in the jar is not what the end result looks like. But what's on the label is supposed to be more accurate. To I like that labeling system. To what you may get if you have a level 10 head of hair. Unfortunately, we can't make a label that shows everything, but um, yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. Next, I'm using my halfway shade to blend the middle section into a bit more of a red color to make- Is he gonna hate the no gloves? I have like no glove haters. <laughs> make the transition seamless and it did exactly what it needed to do and lastly i'm using the reds on the ends okay, and it looks perfect it. so i'm gonna it. move on to my whole head oh my god are you okay. actually doing this with no gloves okay. <laughs> <laughs> grab a gloves on now no there is a little ombre going on already so i'm using that as the fourth transition zone and just putting the same pink on both parts so it ombres itself but of course that is optional and just a convenient perk of looking this crazy between colors i think these colors look great on just one round of bleach without being toned he's shocked at how it turned out on my only level nine because my hair is light enough for the color to pop and the untoned blonde is warm just like the dyes. Okay, I want you to apply more next time. Okay, I apply a lot more. I just go really slowly because I'm trying to have one clean hand so I can like touch the rest of my hair and move it around while I'm doing this. So I just go slowly, but I do apply a lot because I know saturation is key. And use gloves. No gloves, Brad, sorry. And literally just take a bunch of it, put it on. Since you're basically doing the same color all over, you don't have to be organized with it when you're- I like to be organized. Using side permanent color like this, if you're doing one color over everything, just make sure once it's all on there and globbed on, you take a comb a wide tooth comb and you get it all through there. Or even like a detangling brush, anything, all right? I, I actually love using huh, dirty ass brush on my table. Let's pretend it's clean. Clean your brush, Brad. But like something like a detangling brush is great for putting in semi-permanent color. This is a very conditioning product, so it should glide right through your hair. My goal is always to do the fewest processes possible on my hair and in the least damaging way. That's why it's still curly. So that's why I chose pink to red because I can utilize and refresh the red ends of my hair without a fading or bleaching process and add a sim- It looks like he likes it so far. Thank you. Thank you for your positive facial expressions. Similar color or one next to it on the color wheel. And, the and now it's a whole new look that also keeps your hair as healthy as possible. Yes. We love a smart girl who knows how to use her color wheel. Color theory is the best. It's the most fun. It's my life. 
This is looking magical, dude. Like this looks so delicious and gorgeous. I am loving what's going Thank on. You. I'm working my way <laughs> through the sections and slicking them on top of themselves to keep them out of the way while I'm working. I don't know how she's managed to only get color on one of her hands. That is some talent. It's cause I go slow. It's because I only put a little product out once and I just hold the end and I just like do my thing and then I speed it up and yeah. You only get one hand dirty. It's like cooking where you do the like wet hand, dry hand method. <laughs> How are you doing this? She's wearing a full face of makeup and she's got no color on her skin. I don't even care what the color is anymore. That's more impressive than what the color is about to do. I also like to slick it down with more dye to hold it in place and also make sure everywhere is completely saturated. Make sure you get all of the back and that your hairline is fully covered because that part not only frames your face but is the first part to fade from washing your face, especially if you use acne face wash with benzoyl peroxide like me. Yeah, that's very true. You gotta glob it on the front because you don't want those baby hairs blonde. I hate that. I told you I put more on Brad. I wouldn't disappoint you like that. I hate that. I hate when people just miss the baby hairs. It's like, girl, the babies need some coverage too. They need protection. Next up is the transition shade and I'm placing that three quarters of the way down and blending it outwards towards the bottom and lightly blending it towards the pink roots without- I think he likes the transition shade. Without overpowering the color. I feather it down. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes. <laughs> words lightly so it's easier to blend into the red and prevents the red from overpowering the colors above or making it look blocky instead of a smooth transition. She knows exactly what she's doing. She's got a full on plan. She's smart. Thank you. So are you. By the way, I love doing this with my fingers without gloves because I can really feel every detail which makes it easier for me to be precise and for me to do this myself, especially because when I'm doing the back, I do it mostly by feel. Well, that's interesting. I mean, you can still feel through a glove. You, know? you can, but then the glove is all like, like sliding around on each side and everything. You know, gloves don't feel the same as fingers feel. No, it's just hair strands, but go off. If it works for you and you don't mind washing your hands vigorously, vigorously, more power to you. It's not gonna kill you. Once you're done, leave it in for 20 to 1,000 minutes and then rinse it out in cool water in the shower. Yeah, the results, it's result time. After it dried, this is what it looks like. Bright, fresh, healthy, and stunning. I'm obsessed. He likes it. <laughs> if there is ever a day for Brad Mondo to notice me, this is the day and this is the video. Oh. Yeah, yo, Liz. Oh my God, dude, her hair was so healthy and so bouncy. It's so pink and red. Oh, why are we, oh wow. That was probably my favorite. I don't know, that was just magical. Like, oh, her curls are just like, so beautiful and zero frizz. How do you style your hair like that? It looks like perfection, but the color, everything, it's just beautiful. I finger curled it after that video. So I, I did take like an hour to twist every 20 individual strands around, but just to make sure that the curls be curling the way that they should have been curling. What? Yes. I loved that. That was so fun. Thank you guys for making those videos. Thank you so much, Brad. That was such a glowing review. Like I have been trying to get your attention for seven years now. So it means a lot to me <laughs> that you watched my video, like at all, just watched it. But um, I also really appreciate you reacting to it. Half of his channel is fails. So like if I was in a fail compilation and that was the only time Brad Mondo noticed me, I would die. <laughs> It's a good day to be a hair dye girly. So that was his review of me. Pretty glowing, everything except for not wearing gloves, but I will be continuing having dyed hands because I think it's cute. But yeah, I really appreciate the shout out and the review. So thank you, Brad. And for you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.